Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 22 player review. Today's player review is the brand new player moments Marco Royce. Now I do apologise if my voice goes at any point in this video. I am feeling a bit rough, I cannot lie, but I still wanted to get this video out. So let's get into the video. And now on the screen you can see the team that I've used for this player review. Now obviously my last player review was Insigne, my team has definitely changed since that video, but as you can see, Royce up on 10 chem, up at right wing, the only thing now EA, please give us a special Adeyemi. As you can see on the screen right now, I played 4 games in Rivals, scored 6 goals and got 2 assists. Now. When we move into the gameplay, you're actually not going to see majority of them because unfortunately the game that I did get them in, it actually just did not save. So unfortunately, you're actually only going to see about a minute and a half's worth of gameplay. But let's get into it. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go. Now, as you can see, this is the first game that I played. My opponent rage quit within the first 15 minutes <coughs> do apologize as i said earlier in the video i might sound a little bit rough so here is my second or technically third game so once i scored this with royce then i scored once more with rooney he scored two own goals and that was him out of there now this is my final game so as I said previously, unfortunately you missed out on 4 goals and 1 assist. But you can see from this gameplay, he is an absolute menace in the box. So I would highly recommend him. And to be honest, I think for the price that he is, he is actually very good. And this will be the final clip of the gameplay. So I shall be back with the pros and cons in a second. And now that you've seen the gameplay, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of this Royce card. Starting off with his pros. The first has to be his work rates. High, medium, very good for a winger. Also good if you're going to use him as a cam or as a striker in the second game I did actually use him as a striker and that's when I scored the four goals five star skill moves and four star weak foot obviously it would have been better if he was five star five star but we're not going to start complaining about little things like that then his shooting absolutely incredible I did find that once I moved him into the middle he's definitely a top class striker his passing, absolutely fantastic. It is a reason why I think potentially you could put a Maestro on him and play him as more of a cam. Obviously you'd have to do that through custom tactics or just doing that manually. Dribbling, absolutely fantastic. I actually found that the 96 composure felt like 99, so that was a big positive. And then the last is his 97 stamina. And moving on to the cons of this Royce card, the first thing would have to be his pace. Now obviously it says that he has 97 pace and that's a split of 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. But to be honest, for me when I was playing, it probably felt low 80s to mid 80s. And it's thoroughly disappointing, especially if you are going to play him as a winger because he just did not feel quick enough and then his second con is his strength now I applied a marksman so it would actually give him 93 strength but he just felt very very weak if I had to guess I would say his strength was actually mid 50s or low 60s because he just gets bullied off the ball so very often so would I recommend completing player moment Marco Royce? Now for me, I personally would say yes, but only if you're actually going to start him 
and use him in your main 11. I think the problem is he's coming in at about 316k and that's on PlayStation and Xbox. Obviously that's starting from scratch. He's definitely the best Bundesliga winger and well to be honest that's not very hard but I think if you're going to be completing him then you're definitely going to have to be using him I think he would actually be a very good cam probably not a centre mid I think he has to be far more attacking striker he was actually very good for me he has the 5 star skill moves 4 star weak foot he has a unique body type obviously because he was the cover boy or cover man a very long time ago at this point and I think for his price he is actually very good because some people will say well there's that Gareth Bale however he is around 900k so if you're happy to shell out an extra 600k to complete that Bale then that's one thing but for me, this Marco Royce will definitely be my winger until the end of the game. So when I look at it from a gameplay standpoint, he is very good. Because I usually say if you're a fan of him, if you're a Dortmund fan, then you're most likely going to complete him because of his loyalty. But he is actually also a very good player on the game. So, I do highly recommend him. If you can get him in your team, then I definitely would. Would I completely change my team to get him in? Probably not. It's just because he does fit my team and he is very good. But 300k is a lot of coins on this game. So, you've got to look at your team and see what's best for you. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new and comment down below your favourite FIFA 22 player at this current stage. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.